Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest sports cars video where I show the best fully upgraded sports cars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check the original sports cars video, but otherwise let's see where the new Itali RSX and Vitor carts fall into that list. So first up we've got the Vitor carts because they're not raceable, neither in their own races or regular sports car races, and they are the slowest vehicles in the sports class, even slower than the slowest raceable car, the Blister Compact. So the Blister Compact is no longer the slowest vehicle in the sports class. Uh, and just like the Blister Compact, to be honest, these vehicles could have gone in the compact class. I mean, a woman at 19 lap times would have been useless there as well. But, you know, or even open wheels or something, quite why they're in sports that already has over 70 cars is beyond me. But they're, they're both very similar in terms of lap time and performance. The Vito Modern is slightly better on cornering, but slightly worse on the straights. Relatively a little bit easier to handle as well, but they're essentially just $1 million free roam toys at this point. So now we come on to the Itali RSX, which falls into third place for the sport class. It gets a lap time that is half a tenth of a second quicker than the Neo, which is in fourth, and one tenth of a second slower than the Pariah, which is in second. But that all means that it's still more than one second per lap slower than the number one of the Itali GTO. This car is basically understeer central. It essentially doesn't have enough traction. This car is like the Pariah but with understeer instead of oversteer. It has some great top speed and obviously keep an eye out for the top speed testing video to see if it can overhaul and overthrow the Pariah for the fastest car in the game overall that doesn't have rockets or anything. But for lap time, the handling just isn't there with it. Now there is a possibility that the Itali RSX is bugged. Based on its handling file stats, it should actually be on the pace of some of the top supercars, let alone the top sports cars. But it's also the first car that we've seen that has downforce and an active spoiler. So the active spoiler, like on a T20 or an XA21, means that spoiler options don't actually do anything because it's the active spoiler that's doing something. So you can choose whichever spoiler option you like, even keeping it stock, the same way as the X80 Proto. But it also has a downforce value of 3.5, which we're more used to seeing from some of the top supercars. And it feels like one of those things isn't working properly with this car which is why it doesn't have the traction in the corners and therefore understeers quite a lot. Now, if this is intentional, then it actually works very, very well because the car is pretty well balanced at the top of the sports class. Obviously, the Itali GTO around a track is, you know, that gets the quickest lap time as we're seeing here. It, it, it gets the only lap time under one minute. But yeah, the Itali RSX and the Pariah both have the top speed over it, especially you know, as we'll see in the top speed testing video. So it, they're fairly well balanced at the top of the sport class. But if this isn't intentional, the way that it's meant to drive, because it is so expensive, it feels like it should be a supercar and maybe it should have been in the supercars class. If they do fix it and give it the performance that really it looks like it should have had, it would destroy the class and should have been placed in supercars because it would then be on top supercar pace. Personally, I hope they leave it how it is now because although it struggles in the corners in comparison to things like the Pariah and the GTO, it does feel a bit more like a proper race car with longer braking distances and needing to actually take a bit more of a measured approach on acceleration out of the corners and think about it a little bit more. There's a little bit of a higher skill gap with this car. Obviously, if you want to see all 70 plus sports cars, you can feel free to check out the original 2020 sports cars video that contains every car in the game tested and obviously the playlist for all other cars as well. And like I said, keep an eye out for the top speed testing video because this car does have a very high top speed and we'll have to see if it can beat the pariah there because it hasn't managed to do it for lap time. So yeah, essentially this car is a pariah, but it understeers instead of oversteers and just doesn't really have the traction to put it all together for the lap time to set any, do anything against the Itali GTO. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.